everyone and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things fragrance and things that smell amazing if you're new here my name is Sinead thank you so much for watching today I'm going to share with you guys my cozy warm and sensual scents for the upcoming cold months if you're interested in seeing what I chose out of my collection just keep on watching so guys, as you saw titled down below, we're going to talk about some of my favorites that are in my collection that I typically wear during those cooler months. So they're going to be more sensual, sexy, spicy. So prepare yourself to hear those words because I'll probably be saying them a lot throughout this um, actual video. I have about five. I have five, so I'm going to go through them really quickly. Let me know what you think about them as well. The first one that I picked up or that you all saw in numerous videos is Maison Margiela's replica jazz club this one is one of my favorites i actually just got the bigger bottle i've had the travel size for a long time this one has pink pepper i know it has the rum absolute and then it has tobacco and vanilla this is going to be perfect for those cooler sexier times all i can think about is just cigars and smokiness within a bar um I love this so much. It's kind of a heavy fragrance or a heavy woody fragrance with a little booziness to it. So at first spray, it is really harsh. I'm not gonna, you know, lie, it is. But once it just dries down, that's when you get that sweetness and then that vanilla is in there and then the rum. So you're kind of gonna get that sweet sexiness of it. I love this fragrance. It really makes me think of actually a jazz club. I've never been to one, like I always say, but it kind of makes me think of like, you know really soft not soft but sexy music you know smokiness cigars a bourbon drink you know something on the rocks maybe something not on the rocks but <laughs> i will admit it does lean a little bit masculine i will say that but if you're a woman who is bold and sensual and you want to be sexy you can definitely pull this off it's not all the way masculine where you won't get anywhere out of it it's definitely unisex in my opinion but it does say you know on the bottle that it's a male fragrance i don't get that i think that women can wear this as well as long as you're not intimidated by the smell um on those cooler nights guys it's going to be a tobacco bomb. So don't forget that it does have that tobacco, you know, note in it. So the rum does blend well with it, but I think it's good. So you have that sexiness with the pepper. Then you have the booziness with the vanilla and then the rum. But then you have that mm with the tobacco. It's really good. I definitely recommend this one for the upcoming months. The next one I'm going to share with you guys is new to my collection as well. This is Maison Margiela, and this is also Whispers in the Library. Now, this one, guys, I'm going to have to tell you, I wasn't in the market to get it. I didn't really know too much about it. Didn't really hear a lot about it. This has pepper essence in it. Um, also, I know it has tonka bean absolute, but then I think it does have some type of woody. I know it has woody notes in it because... I can just smell them. Um, and then it has cedar wood. I know that. Now, guys, when I, I just have the travel size of it. I haven't purchased it all the way because I'm still testing it as well. So I have a lot more to go. But this is going to be good for those colder months as well. So I'm going to say this, right? Picture this. This is how I can describe it if you can kind of understand. Have you ever been to a library on those rainy days and then you open up a book and it has like that old British smell to it? Oh, it's so good. This literally makes me feel like I'm exactly in a library. So I guess the replica part of making me feel like I'm there actually works because this just makes me feel like I'm reading an old book in the library. It's rainy. It's a little windy outside. The leaves are falling. When I was um, back in college, I knew exactly that this would have been a perfect scent to just go to a library and do my work with. This is really good. Um, I will say, in my opinion, because I have it as well, this reminds me of... Um, Elizabeth and James, I think it's Nirvana Bourbon. This is really, really good. So if you like vanilla bourbon, I'm not vanilla. If you like bourbon, buy um, Nirvana. I think that's the Elizabeth and James from the Olsen Twins. If you like that fragrance, I think you will definitely like this as well. Um, I will say that the vanilla is powdery. So keep in mind on that. So the vanilla is not a sweet, like I say. It's a dry, it's a powdery scent. But then you do have that instant you know what it reminds me of? I'm just going to be honest with you. Instant coffee with vanilla in it. That's what it, it reminds me of. So if you like vanilla scents that aren't too sweet and that have a little sexiness to them, I think you'll definitely like this. So this is Replica and this is Whispers in the Library. 
The next one I'm going to share with you guys is new to my collection as well. I have been testing it. I know I like it. I think it'll be a good one for the winter as well. This is Atelier Cologne and this is Vanille Incense. I hope I'm saying that right. I have the travel size of this one as well. I think it's good. This one has your vanilla. It has lime. It has amber in it. And then it also has my favorite note of vetiver. Oh my God. As soon as I smelled it, it just made me think of like cake. But not like that sweet, but... Definitely a gourmand scent in my opinion. Let me put this down. This is so good, guys. This is just strictly vanilla. So I'm telling you, if you don't like vanilla scents, you probably won't like this one. It's not sweet in a way of rich, but it's kind of sweet in a way of like sexy vanilla. So don't think of it like a, I know I said cake, but not like a pound cake. Think of it like as a rum cake, like kind of like that. Like a little bit more sexy of vanilla. Um, this is definitely for a person who is mature or grown enough that likes that sexy vanilla scent. If you want something that's kind of like, um, real florally and sweet and vanilla and really girly this is not it this is more of a sexier scent i definitely say this is like a netflix cuddle up we're on the couch it's raining outside you want to throw on something that makes you feel sweet but also sexy that is definitely this as well um it definitely has the woody notes in it so that's why i think this particular fragrance is good it's not just sweet with floral i think if there would have been some type of floral note in this i don't think it would have been that good honestly in my opinion so i'm glad they added that warmer note which is probably the vetiver and those warm spices or those woody spices as well gloomy day in the house like i say you throw this on we're colored up we have our sweaters on we have you know a hat maybe a blanket lifetime is on I don't know, Grey's Anatomy, that's my favorite show. But you're watching that, it's nighttime. You know, it gets dark at like four o'clock Eastern time here. I, okay, so anyway, but definitely this is a good scent. I think that this is a good vanilla scent. One thing I will say as well, I got this particular fragrance because I love vanilla, but sometimes I don't like the vanilla fragrances that come with all these different notes that I'm not really a fan of. So I can pair this with so many ouds that I have that are very, you know, harsh that I want a little sweet and sexiness to it. So I think this is definitely good. This is Atelier Cologne and this is Vanille Incense. Okay. The next one I'm going to share with you guys is something I talk about and I have a whole video dedicated to it. This is B Layers Mia's Blend. I actually got this one because of my girl Karina Walden here on YouTube. She talked about it and said it was a great fragrance that she had in her collection that was affordable. So I don't have too many B Layers scents. I just have this one and First Kiss. And I wanted to get one that was kind of sexy in my collection from that particular house. Um, this one I always says the um, I always say it, the predominant note is myrrh. I had to do a little research on it because I'm not familiar with this particular note. I have some fragrances in my collection that have this note, but not too many, maybe like two or three, not a whole lot. It has tonka bean, it has lavender, almond. I think that there's a vanilla note in here. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me, but I think it is. This one I think is really, really good, guys. Whew. Now I will say it is has a it is it has a sharp myrrh note so if you're not familiar with that myrrh a uh, myrrh kind of can be very woody it has it or makes it seem like it's a very warm and coziness and then when you mix it with the almond it kind of gives you that nuttiness of it this is basically a warm woody scent i will say that in the beginning it does seem a little medicinal so it does have that synthetic feel to it in the beginning i won't lie that's part of the sharpness of it um, one thing I will say, this is very, very unique in my collection. I don't have anything like it. Will I say it's warm and sexy? Absolutely. But I say a little bit goes a long way because it does have those sharp notes in it. So I could see wearing this in date night if you're going out in these particular times. If you're in the house, you can definitely wear this as well. Every time I wear this scent, I get a compliment on it. And one thing as well, it does linger on my clothes for long periods of time. So I would say the longevity in the sillage is very good. If you're looking for an affordable fragrance that gives you that sexiness, has a little bit of a sweet note to it. I think, yeah, it does have the vanilla in it. It does have the myrrh, has the tonka. So it's giving you that sexiness with a little heavy um, and the heaviness of it with sweetness as well. This is a great one to check out. Be layered Mia's blend, okay? The next one I have, I'm so excited to tell you guys about. This is Victor and Rolf, and this is from the Magic Collection, and this is Invisible Oud. Guys, you know how you use a fragrance so much, and then you give it a rest, and then you come back to it, and you're like, this is some good stuff. This is how I feel about this one. I wore this um, a long time or so much when I first got it, and then I put it down for a little bit because I was just like, mm, it was kind of summer. 
But I kind of, I like to smell warm in the bed regardless. I don't care if it's spring, summer. When it's cold, if the air is on, I don't really like to smell. I, I'm just weird. I'm sorry. So this is Invisible Oud. I'm telling you guys, I don't need to spray a lot. But just for the sake of it, on the tester I am. Whew, girl, I'm sorry. This is so good. Ooh, that's basically, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, It is like a fluffy vanilla oud scent so it is very airy it's very light but the oud is something that i don't play around with on this one the projection of this and the longevity is unmatched i'm telling you guys i'm uh, as you can see my face is kind of up because it's so strong that you don't have to spray this a lot the first thing i think of when i smell this fragrance is a luxurious middle eastern woman that's just walking along and she has this on and then she has her jewels and everything that's exactly what this smells like. It just smells so luxurious. It smells expensive. I think it was, or I think it is um, $145. I got it actually when Macy's was having a sale and it was like $40. It was like 40 between $40 and $60. So I got it for a steal of the price during the Macy's sale. This is definitely a bedtime scent for me. So I'll take it. I spray it on myself right after I get out the shower and then I'll get straight in the bed. I haven't worn this outside yet, but I can definitely see that in those cooler months, it's going to cut this oud and you are going to smell absolutely good. Everyone around you is going to smell you. It'll be in your hair. It'll be in your clothes. Men, you can put this on as well. This is unisex. Don't let the bottle fool you. This is really, really good. Benzoin, myrrh, oud, vanilla, pink pepper, musk. All of those, so as you can see, this is the second fragrance that I found in my collection that has myrrh in it. So this one and the um, Mia's Blend definitely have those strong myrrh notes in them. I would say don't wear this fragrance if you are a subtle woman. If you don't want people to notice you and you don't want heads to turn, do not wear it. Only because it can be overpowering for someone who is not experienced with this protective oud fragrance. It is really good. I, didn't, I don't hear a lot of people talk about this particular one that's in the collection, but you can find it at Macy's. I think they still have it at Sephora. It's really, really good. I definitely, definitely highly recommend this one. So Victor and Rolf, this is from the Magic Collection. And this is Invisible Oud. Really good, guys. The last one I'm going to share with you guys is something I think a lot of people... There's, there's some little back and forth about it. Some people like it, of course. Some people don't. Fragrance is subjective. Everybody doesn't like everything, but I do like this one. This is Moogler, so Terry Moogler's Alien Fusion. A lot of people don't talk about it, and I just love the packaging as well. Isn't it stunning? As you can see, I've worn it for some time, so it, I've given it its due, but then I had to put it away. But now, this is the season where I can pull it back out and start to get my use on it as well. This one has ginger, it has cinnamon, has orange blossom, tuberose, white amber, and some, um, I think it has musk in it as well. Oh, let me tell you guys something. If you like Alien, I think you would like this. A lot of people said, no, I have Alien, the original as well, and this. I'm not an angel girl. I like Angel Muse, but I like more of the Alien versions as well. To me, this is kind of in the middle. So I think this is in the middle between the original Alien and then Angel. So just let me know if you think of that as well. This is kind of in the middle of those two. It's not as heavy as the original Alien, but it's not as light. Like I kind of think Angel is in my opinion. Angel is a little weird on me. I'm not really sure. My chemistry doesn't like it at all. I love that this has the ginger and cinnamon note to it. I think it is the more sexy, sensual version of Alien. That's and spicy. You're going to get that cinnamon note. So if you like the original Alien, but you wish it had a little bit more depth to it, which is something you probably wouldn't say, but if you do, this would definitely be it for you. I like my fragrances sexy and spicy and everyone. I like loud fragrances. If you see me, I want you to smell me as well. That's just how I am. I will say that the sillage is moderate. So I will give everyone that. A lot of people have said that. I will definitely agree with you because you're going to have to spray a lot to get this. And that's probably why I've gone through so much. Will I purchase it again? I will have to think about it, to be honest with you. But I do think it is a great fragrance for what it is worth. Um, One thing as well. This is a very warm and inviting scent, guys. I'm telling you, people will be intoxicated by this. Now, what I will say is this. You can put it on your skin, right? But with this one, I would say probably put it on your clothes as well. Like, put it in your hair. You're not supposed to do that, but I do it. Put it in your hair. Put it in your coat. Put it on your scarf. You know, we're bundling up this season. We have a lot of more layers. So, just layer yourself in it. Don't just put it on your skin. Put it everywhere. So, when you walk past... They're going to smell it in your hair, in your coat, your scarf, shoes, whatever, legs, whatever. Put it all over the place. 
you shouldn't really have to do that with a fragrance to get it to project but i don't mind because i only got the little one just because i wanted to um have it in my collection but i didn't want to you know invest in a huge bottle um i'll probably know by the end of winter if i would like to invest in it i'm not too sure if i will purchase a larger bottle i'm kind of okay with just having the small one so if you have um fragrances or you love cinnamon in your fragrances or you love spicy sensual going out date night i could say that i don't really see this one being in the house you can wear it in the house of course don't get me wrong but this is kind of like we're going somewhere we're going on a date you're taking me somewhere we're going outside because people are going to hear i'm here people want to are going to want to smell this on you as you're walking past as you're walking outside in those cold months people are definitely going to want to smell you so this is terry mugler and this is alien fusion so there you have it guys i hope you enjoyed today's video let me know in the comment section down below what are you going to be wearing for those cooler months that's spicy heavy and sexy put it in the comment section down below if you like the video that i gave today please hit the like button i would greatly appreciate it you can find me on instagram at the style of scent don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed the vibe here and until the next video guys bye